Okay, in this video we're going to look at how we can record email link clicks in Google Analytics 4. So in the last video we covered how to track phone number clicks and in this one we're just going to look at email clicks. Um, the, it's probably worth going back to the other video, you know, if you want to do the phone number clicks, but um, this is actually quite a similar video, so I'm not going to cover everything I did in the first video. So, you know, for setting up tags and things like that, if you jump back to the video before and for sort of basic events, and then I'll, I'll link it all up in the corner and then you can come back to this one. But essentially what we're going to do is just jump straight in and we're going to set up our event. So if we jump into reports, and we'll jump into real time just so you can quickly see. So this is the event we set up in the last video. And now we're just gonna jump into the admin and we're going to jump into events under our property. And we're going to create a new event. And you can see we've got our phone number clicks event in. And now we're gonna do our email one. So I'm just gonna call this one email link clicks and I kind of explained in the other video that you know you just want to use lowercase and underscores preferably and this is how we're going to create it so we're going to go event event name equals and then we're going to look for clicks on the page but we're going to add a condition that says if the link whoops link underscore URL contains and then an email link on a page generally contains a mail to semicolon and that's what opens the link up in an email client as opposed to just going to a web page so we're just saying if anybody clicks on the page and that link contains a mail to uh, prefix to the link then that for us is an email click and we'll we'll keep the um, the parameters for the source event and we'll just hit create and then you can see now we've got our new email clicks and we will come back into the reports and again under engagement and sorry not conversions under events it will start showing here eventually um, but you you'll need a day's worth of data for it to show but we can jump into the real-time tab and you can see here we've got um, the seven events that have kind of fired here if we come onto the website, we'll just need to give it a refresh. So the um, so the events registered, and then we've got two different mail to links here. So you can see that I've just opened that up in a in a mail client, and we'll come back, and then eventually this should pop up to eight. But you can see we've got everything else running in there: page view, user engagement, click scroll. This was the custom one that we added in the last video and first visit and then eventually after a few seconds we should get a new event pop up and it will more than likely be on page two because it will have had um, only only one event fire and this might not work first time every time you might have to refresh the page a couple of times if you've got um, website caching running then you'll need to clear that before these things start coming through so it's um if it's not coming through go back double check the you know double check the event but also make sure that you're clearing cache you can try it in an incognito window make sure you're accepting cookies and, and that kind of stuff and you can see here email clicks has gone up to one and we should be able to come back in click on it again we can shut that come back and then this should tot up to two after that one like i say it, it does take a few seconds to come through it's usually five to ten seconds and um, we, we get the event data through into the dashboard and you can see there now we've got two clicks so again it, it's not it's not a perfect metric because people can click on it and then they can decide actually i don't want to email this person shut the draft down and then it's not a, an email but at the same time, it's still really useful to know, again, what pages people are clicking email links on. And you can also tally them up with emails that do come through and check out which pages that they've come through on. So uh, as I mentioned before, you know, this is the kind of stuff that you'd probably measure in ads conversion. But if you're not running ads, 
then it's really useful data to kind of have just in your analytics dashboard. So hopefully that's helped. If it has, give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe.